Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a very unique, very different style of bunkhouse trailer from Keystone Outback. This is the 2021 Keystone Outback model 291 UBH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Outback and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Towables. It's the world's only channel giving you the true unbiased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at this Keystone Outback. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going? Good. We're up here in Ohio still. It's yep. a little chilly, but still a nice day. And I'm trying to make sure we hit everything that's here in Ohio that's not sold all elsewhere because yep. you know we can we'll get down to florida soon and they have a lot there too yep so yeah as we'll say we're gonna we're making sure we're hitting a lot of outbacks montana's montana high countries and stuff like that that's we sell up north and not south let's begin model is outback 291 ubh but the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 33 feet 8 inches the dry weight is 6,800 pounds. And Will, the hitch weight? 665 pounds. Perfect. And I'm sorry, it's not, it's not an Outback. That's an Outback right there. This is an Outback Ultralight, okay? There is a difference between the two brands. Right up here, we do have a power tongue jack. Very nice. You put it on to get it on and off your truck. Two 20 pound propane tanks right here. You can upgrade them to 30 pound tanks. And then right over here, this is where your batteries would go. We do have a molded fiberglass cap right here. It looks great, it's painted. I love what Outback did this year. Um, maybe a little bit last year with the gold. I think it looks really classy and elegant. And you got your black diamond plate right here. Also, because this is a Keystone, you got the three year structural warranty. Coming down the side here, we do have nice pass-through storage. Very nice. All aluminum framing on this trailer, and check that out, electric stabilizing. All you gotta do is push the button and it will automatically stabilize you. No slide outs on this side, I love that. And so you have a huge power awning with the new LED light strips that are right there on the side. Coming down the side, we've got the limber component solid steps, I love this. Because this is a Outback Ultralight, you still get the Arctic Barrier Package, which is a heated and closed underbelly for cold weather camping. Always with an asterisk. Depends on where you are and how cold. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Rangers. ST225-75 R15. And you do have the Dexter axles there. Speakers on the side. You can have a TV right here, just right there. And then a little outside kitchen. This is all you need. The hot That's point right. fridge. Has a hot fridge. And a suburban skillet cooktop. Burner. Two burner cooktop from suburban. Very nice. Coming around the back. We do have a ladder to get up on the roof, which we will not be doing today because it was raining last night. So the roofs are pretty slippery. Uh, it is a one-piece TPO roof. Right over here, we got a little bit of storage. Oh, that's where they're storing the power cord. A nice bumper for your stinky slinky. I love that. Prep for a Furion backup camera there, Will. And then we got a spare tire and spare tire carrier. And then that's where you hook up. Oh, that's nice. It is a 50 amp trailer. I'm telling you now, I know there's only one AC unit on top, but it's nice that it's gonna be prepped for two. And I like that on this unit because not everybody needs two AC units on an ultralight. And then right there, we do have a water heater. Cable driven slide out system. And then finishing up, we have an outdoor shower right here. Tank flush right there. This is Will. Sorry. You didn't do your job, Will. Mm -hmm. 
key TV. Don't tell me. Is it key TV? It is key TV. All right, we'll let you off with a warning, Will. All right. Thank you so much. And then below there, that's where we're dumping the black and gray tanks. Oh no, it's actually over here. Yeah, that below oh, there. There's two. No, no, no. So that's gonna be just a gray tank. Okay. Uh, for the sink, and that's gonna be a black and gray tank. Yep. And then right here's your city water connection, your fresh water connection, and your potable water fill. Potable, potable, potable. And then here. Yep, very nice. Well, well. The outside of this trailer looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Well, hang on a second. It looks different on the inside. Yeah. Let's go take a look. All right. Ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide, baby. We got to sleep in a little today because of the rain, so you got a lot of energy, huh? Yeah. I was tired after last night. So was I. Or after, uh, I was tired of recording yesterday. Yeah. All right, bedroom up front, mid bathroom. Yep. Or pass or whatever you call it. Kitchen, dining area, living area, and then the bunks back here. We're gonna start back here, Will. Okay. okay. We're gonna get straight to business. This is a this is the corner bunks. This is the double over double. Okay. Uh, I love the double over double, but see, normally the double over double is next to the bathroom in the rear, right? and it's open to the living room area. They did something different in this one and they added a little door, which makes it its own room, but I would not call this a bunk room. You got a little bit of storage up there. Ladder right there so the kids can climb up top. 150 on the top, 300 on the bottom. And then we got a drawer right there and a drawer right there. I find this very interesting how they made it its own room. Yeah. So that's, that's uh that's the bunk area and then over here in the living area wow i must say will yeah sit in that couch brother that might be one of the most comfortable sofas that uh, really is theater seats i've sat on in a travel trailer this has some cushion to it yes it does very nice it is the thomas Payne collection you got your cup holders there and everything nice windows all the way around i like the double colors here and everything and you do have some power right there. And even better, why I like it is because it is directly across from the TV entertainment center. You got some storage right there. TV, Jensen TV. Oh, radio, DVD player and everything. All right there. And then over here in the dinette, also look, look at what they did with the slide out. That is nice. Ow! What? That hurt bad what'd you do that is oh, the dumbest the thing right i've ever there? seen is that what it was yes look at what it just did i'm gonna own general rv y'all and keystone did it scratch me a little bit yeah oh man i think you're making a bigger deal about it than it is no though. but it's stupid how <laughs> far it went out that is so dumb you should have showed him the other bruise on your leg yeah well, well should we show it sure all right, if you don't like bruises, uh, don't watch. Bing! <laughs> that was from, I had to climb out the motor uh, window of a motorhome and I hurt my leg right there. Um, but still, no, it's not about that. It's about this. Yeah. Okay, we'll talk about, we'll talk about that later. Okay, uh, this table does drop down to make a bed. We do have a window right here. Very nice windows all the way around. This is a very dark trailer, so... You know, not a lot of window action going on over there. Right. So I, I like these windows right here and I like how they did not do the frameless windows because you can now open them up and get like lots of airflow. And let's see if there's storage underneath. Nope. Well, Will, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this travel trailer here is $40,352 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see here, we can't advertise the sale price because it is a 2021 model year, but it doesn't matter because if you love this trailer, we will be able to get you the best price in America by doing this. Just go to mattsrvreviews.com. A link is down in the description below and click the contact me tab 
you will see one of three options. If you're ready to buy this unit and you want to talk turkey, click that first box, fill out the form, and somebody from my team will reach out to you to get you. Best price in America. If you like this unit and you want to compare it against other units and you have questions for either Will or myself, click that second box and we will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours and we can call you, text you, email you, or FaceTime you, whatever works best for you. Or if you're really not trying to buy right now, no big deal, just click that third box and we will get back to you. We promise we'll get back to you, just not immediately like the other two boxes. But Will, it doesn't matter where you are in your buying process, we're here to help you and we promise we will get you... Best price in America. But only if you contact us. Will, let's continue the video. All right. All right, I'll start right here with the fridge. Nice two-way Dometic eight cubic foot refrigerator here. Runs off both propane and electric. That's right. The something is missing microwave. Is that supposed to be a misprint? I don't know. Cause I don't know, that's the second time I saw this. Right. Well, they probably just printed all the stickers at once. I don't know, man. So, a little microwave, but you know, a little trailer, so. Um, a nice hood range here by Furion. And they did continue down with the Furion stove, three burner cooktop, and oven as well with the lights. Ooh. Lou. Something I do want, if you could stand straight up, Will. Yep. Will is six foot three, and because we have a nice radius roof, he has plenty of headspace. Yeah. All right. I do like how they did a nice window there so you can see outside. Like Matt said, this side of the trailer is kind of dark, so incorporating that was nice. Um, storage up above here. Yep. Not solid surface countertops. Again, it's an ultra light. You wouldn't expect, yep. expect anything less. Um, nice single sink, single bowl sink with a, I like this faucet. And it does come with the cover here as well. Very nice. A little bit of storage here. Okay. And wow. then look I at do that. Like this nice big flip up thing here. Except I don't know how it holds, but. Don't matter. Yeah. Very nice. Gives you that extra little bit of space you need. And then is there more? There is more storage here. Wow. So you got storage over there, drawers here, too small, too big. Very nice. And then we looks like we got like a little coat hole hanger right there. Yep. Very nice. All it's right. now time for the tall test, Will. All right. Let's see. Wow. The yeah, passes. Pretty good. Could have failed. Yeah. But it didn't. That's right. Really good size shower. That looks like a 40 by 30. Yeah. It's probably all right. Yep. Nice glass enclosure right there. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, movable shower head and everything. Right. Perfect. Over here, we got a nice big medicine cabinet. Good sink and everything right there. A little bit of storage. And it's now time for the toilet test. Porcelain. It's good. I mean, look at this. I got plenty of space. Well, I'm pretty impressed with this right here right now. Well, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Cool. And then finishing up with the master bedroom. You got a queen size bed here, fully walk aroundable. You got a little bit of storage in there. A little bit of storage up here. And then I like it because you have, yeah, show the Same inside. Same storage there. here and here. You know, I like it because you do have a place on both sides to put your cell phone and everything. Yeah. You've got a little holder up there. Nice check, big space too. Check this out, Will. We got a laundry chute. Yep. Love it. And then let's see if we got storage underneath the bed. We sure do. Oh look, they're doing the crate of death again for the dogs. <laughs> That's nice. I don't get that. Leave that in the comments dogs. below. Yeah, I don't get that. The dogs, the dogs sleep with you. And then right up here, we have your LCD TV mount for bracking. And that's where your second AC would go. Yes. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. But before you leave, it's now time we give you three things we love about this Outback Ultralight and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we like? Yes. Okay, I'm going to go first. Okay. You ready? Yep. This is one of the primest pooping positions 
I have ever had in a travel trailer. Definitely. I really like how big and open and spacious this bathroom is. And we will be talking about bathrooms on my dislike as well. So I did want to make sure I gave this bathroom some praise at the same time. Especially with a big shower like that in a travel trailer. Right. So that's one. Two. Okay, mine's going to be the bunk room. No. No? No, I mean, I mean no, it's you. I mean. So I like how they incorporated the double bunks in a smaller trailer like this. But still gave it the door. Okay. You disagree? I mean, we'll stick around <laughs> until the end of the show. No, I just like because, you know, a lot of times they do the double bunks and they're just there. Okay. They don't have a door. So that's two. And then number three, I am going to say uh, this. So one, the soap. We'll sit down on that again. Oh, yeah. Take a break, brother. <laughs> I love the theater nice. seats. Yeah. I love how big and comfortable they are. And it's directly across from the sofa. Right. Super nice, and I love that. Yep, definitely. Great. So that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things. And that's no. Three things we like about it. Yes. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. You ready for me to go first? Sure. I think this is really stupid. You do? Yes. You close the door. It's a thin door. You're still gonna hear them. You can't get changed here. You can't get dressed. It blocks it all off. I think it would have been better just to keep it exposed to the living room area, personally. Okay. Leave that in the comments below. Let us know what you think. I think that's funny how Will likes it, and I don't like it. I agree with everything you're saying. It's just you wouldn't have it any better if it was open, but at least now you can shut it. Yep. I'd love to hear everybody's opinion about that. Yeah. So that's one. Do you have a number two? So I can give you number two and three. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Number two. This. Oh, look, yeah. Look at this. That's an inch by an inch. It's going to cut your leg. And that's just that's stupid. Gonna gash your leg open. That's going to gash. Yep, your thigh, your thyroid's going to be bleeding and everything. Not thyroid, but, uh, you know, your calf. Your, thigh. your calf is going calf, to be bleeding. Yeah. And that's just stupid. And, and then it has sharp edges. Right, like at least we're on the edges. So that's two. And then number three, I love how big and spacious this bathroom is. But I hate how to get to the bedroom you have to walk through the bathroom yeah if there was a door right here it would have been all better mm -hmm. but there's not a door so, but at the same time and i'll add to that 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 you know it, when someone you know or working with people looking at units they hate it a lot of times i think from what i find you know it's a i love it or i hate it yeah. you know i mean it, it's one of those things where if i you're think not, more people hate it though oh well that's why it's an opinion no, yeah facts don't have friends <laughs> <laughs> no but um but i mean it's just really about what you're looking i personally for. don't mind it but right I, I feel like if you weren't if you didn't have your family with you the whole time you know but or if if you need if you need the bigger bathroom right it's the sacrifice that you're gonna make that's because right because the alternative is to have that small bathroom and i'm telling you now it won't have a prime pooping position right or or it won't have a shower that size i'd sacrifice that to get the bigger bathroom there you go exactly and that's what I love. That that's what I love about RVs. There's no perfect RV. That's why they don't just sell one brand. There's different brands and different floor plans and whatever works best for you. Yep. But that's it. Well, that's a review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. In a few seconds, if you're looking for a bunkhouse trailer, we will have some videos right there of some of my personal recommendations that I think you should check out. If you guys have any questions about this RV or you do want to buy it or anything, make sure you go to mattsrvreviews.com and fill out one of the three boxes. Again, we don't care where you are in your buying purchase. This is just our way of funneling uh, the contact forms so we can better assist you in your journey for RV and happiness. Will, do you have anything you wanna say? Sure. All right guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave in the comments below, you know, everything you liked and didn't like. Let us know if you like the bunk room or not. And, um, We'll catch you next time. Yep. And finally, make sure you join us on Club Art Deco. Yes. That's our Facebook page. Uh, and that's the best way to connect with Will, myself, and Andrea. Thank you so much for watching. Check out another video right here. And Will, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.